Hi everyone welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you love to watch more cheating stories. When GF told me she was pregnant and I found it fishy because this happened. I, 28 meters, had been with my GF, 25F, for just about two years. The relationship was good and then she tells me she's pregnant. For the most part, I'm careful and she said she was on birth control. I was skeptical but went to an appointment. I then figured it was just one of those things. I always wanted a family so even though this was not how I wanted to begin, I was overjoyed. We're past the first trimester and I have her move in at her insistence. Insert red flag I missed, we're planning what we will do work-wise and how to set up the baby's room. She is pretty insistent she will go back to work but be able to stay home. She swears she can make it work. I go to every appointment with her. Things are still good. We're in the third trimester, I make my schedule work to still go to every appointment. Up until this point, I had been at each appointment in its entirety. This one appointment, she's asks me to wait so she can talk to the doctor first. I'm super concerned that something is wrong with the baby and she didn't want me to hear. I go in and the checkup is done. Everything looks good. My GF brushes off my concern over why I couldn't be there for all of it. Another red flag. We're about a month and a half from the due date and I notice her being kind of secretive with phone calls and texts. She tells me it's work and it's confidential etc. My antenna is now up so I try to get looks at her phone. She's got Snapchat and Kick. I find it strange but don't confront her. The baby is born and I'm overwhelmed with emotion. The child is perfect and things went fine. Then comes the part where they want me to go on the birth certificate. My GF becomes really insistent about it. She's constantly asking me to do it and seems way more anxious I've ever seen her. Here's the red flag I didn't miss. I don't do it. We have an argument but she stops pushing. I think it's because she knows how suspect it looks already. We're home and she has to go tend to the baby after it woke up. I noticed she set her phone down to go to the baby. I couldn't help it and looked. It was still unlocked. I start looking for texts or calls. I then find a whole conversation on kick with a guy. All the updates of her appointments. Pictures of her and the baby. Then I see it. The place she says she thinks it's his child. I confront her and she apologizes. She admits the baby could be mine or someone else but she thinks it's mine. I demand a paternity test and leave. It's been about a week since the confrontation. The results came in yesterday and the baby isn't mine. She's gone to live with her mother. Here's the best part. It took me a lot of digging seeing as all I had were usernames she talked to him to. The father is her boss. The secrecy was for him. The boss with a wife and four kids in middle and high school. I found the wife on Facebook and sent her all I had including texts from my GF saying it's his. I'm heartbroken so many ways. I'm lucky in a lot of ways here but I'm so hurt. This has completely changed my whole outlook. I'm bitter, angry and untrusting. I have no idea how to recover from this. Comments from community. Damn. I'm sorry. Dodged a huge bullet. That poor wife of the AP. Glad you told her. At least you are not tied to her like the AP's wife is tied to him. Literally no contact with your ex. She is trash of the highest order. That boss of hers shouldn't be a boss. I'd let the company know about his actions as well. That's not a real man, one who would stand by while he sees another man unknowingly clean up his mess, and your ex, shame on her for attempting to saddle you with someone else's child behind your back while sending the biological father updates. You dodged a huge bullet and I'm so glad you sent it on its way to its rightful target. I know you're hurting and in pain, but it will pass. Someday, if you're willing, you will find love again, and by choice, you'll become a father. You dumped her and exposed her affair and child to the AP's wife, good job. Now, take your time to grieve your loss, look after yourself and realize that you were fooled by who she lied to you to be and that none of this is your fault. Then take another moment to think how lucky you are to have dodged this bullet, it doesn't feel like it, but you were darn lucky, it could have gone down way worse and cost you years of your life and a child you have already raised. The positives are you got out without legal obligations. You never contact that horrid ex again. 
You did the right thing by informing the boss's wife. You are still in twenties. That's a one-of-kind Christmas present to your GF's boss. You did well discovering her deception and standing up for yourself. Man, your GF insistent you sign the birth certificate, that is cold. Dude, this might sound really crazy but I am so happy for you. I'm so glad this happened now and you get to leave and have a chance of finding someone truly good to start a family with and you will experience the joy of having your first child in a true healthy and living relationship and that the child born into that situation will have a good life. You win. God has opened the door for something better for you. I want to triple high five you for telling the wife of the AP. This is going to hurt her, but it will also set her free from this dangerous man she is married to. 100% this is not his first affair. 100% he is putting her life at risk of getting STDs that could kill her. It may be hard to see it all and understand now by imagine how this could have been five years on. With a second child that actually is yours and now you are strapped to her for life. This moment is a victory. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell.